Good morning. Today is Thursday, September 8th, 2022, and it is day number 243 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 132 pounds even, and this morning, I am at 132.8 pounds. So I gained eight tenths of a pound after having a refeed yesterday, but it's fine. That's just the nature of rolling 72s, where on fasting days, I generally see a loss on the scale, and on the days after a refeed, I usually see a gain, but the rolling 72s will take care of that gain within the next day or two. So right now I am in round 61 of rolling 72s and I'm about 18 hours in. So what I ultimately ended up having for my refeed was cedar plank salmon from California Pizza Kitchen. So that meal consisted of salmon and there was feta cheese on it and it came with a side of corn um, and spinach. And so what I did was I scraped the feta cheese off because I am trying to stay away from cheese while on the weight loss portion of my journey. And the reason is because, um, you know, several months back I had this really delicious salad um, and it was just chock full of feta cheese. And the next day I got on the scale and saw my biggest gain um, since starting my fasting journey, which was 2.2 pounds. And that was because of the cheese. Um, my body just does not like cheese. Um, I always see a huge gain on the scale after consuming cheese. And so I'm trying to stay away from it. And so in terms of the corn and the spinach, I also um, just kind of like left that alone because I'm trying to keep my carbs as low as possible. And I know that there's carbs in the corn and I think the spinach would have been okay, but the spinach was mixed in with the corn. And so I figured just, you know, stay, let's just stay away from that. And so salmon is not my favorite food. Um, I tolerate it at best. And so I can't say that I enjoyed yesterday's meal, but you know, I'm trying to get to my ultimate goal weight and my goal weight is like within sight. And so I'm trying to, you know, do what's in my best interest, what's in my body's best interest. And so I just figured the salmon was the best choice. And so to kind of make it a little bit more appetizing to me, um, I have Bragg seasoning that I usually um, season my ground beef with when I, you know, make my refeeds for myself at home. And I also have a bottle at work for like in terms of if I order out because Bragg seasoning makes everything taste good to me. And so that definitely helped a lot yesterday with the salmon refeed. But I think salmon is a really good um, thing to have to break an extended fast with. And so if I ever go on another extended fast, and for me, extended fast is no longer 40 day water fast. For me, extended fast these days is maybe like a week at most. And so if I go on another extended fast at any point in my fasting journey, I think I will probably break that fast with salmon because it's easy to digest and it doesn't sit heavy in my stomach. And also I don't really have that big of a gain on the scale the next day after consuming salmon. So usually um, I like to give you calorie and carb information um, for my meal and I don't really have accurate information because the information that was online it was for the entire meal and I didn't have the entire meal. But I'll just tell you what the calorie and carb information was for the entire meal but just keep in mind that this, wasn't ac this isn't accurate for what I had yesterday. So calories is 650 calories and in terms of carbs, it's 31 net carbs total. And so my guess is that I probably had um, little to no carbs with yesterday's refeed because I didn't eat the corn and the spinach. And in terms of calories, it wasn't 650 calories. Um, it was much less than that since I didn't have the feta cheese, which would have had a lot of calories or the, you know, corn and the spinach. And so um, probably one of my lower refeeds calories wise. And um, since I was at work and had a lunch refeed, I didn't take my supplements either. So I'll get back to that on my next refeed, taking the supplements. But anyways, so in today's video, I wanted to talk about taking fasting hour by hour. So a few days ago, I mentioned that when you are trying to lose weight and you're starting like a weight loss journey, don't look at the big number. Don't look at the amount of weight that you have to lose because that could be like overwhelming for you and a good way to kind of like scare you from starting. And so 
I want to kind of like talk about that in terms of fasting. Don't look at the big number. Don't look at the hours um, ahead of you for your fast. Instead, just kind of like focus on one hour at a time when it comes to fasting. Because if you look at, so for me, I'm fasting, you know, 72 hours at a time. And for me, like... I'm kind of like a seasoned faster these days. I'm in my 61st round of fasting, but still like 72 hours without food, that's a little bit daunting. And so for me, I still like to focus on one hour at a time for my fast. And, you know, I do what I need to do to kind of like occupy my mind to distract myself and to get through that first hour. And then, you know, once that hour is over, I move on to the next hour and I do that every day for you know my fast and that really kind of like helps um helps me to focus just on hour by hour and something else that kind of like helps me is actually physically um crossing off each hour as it goes by and watching the hours accumulate and as i you know see the hours grow on my fast it kind of like inspires me to continue on with my fast and I do have a fasting app that I use, and in case you're interested, I use the Life Fasting app. But, you know, there's just like something different about keeping track of my um, fasting hours by hand. Um, just kind of like being physically involved and crossing off the hours um, as they go by. Um, there's something about that that kind of like inspires me. Um, and so I'll just kind of like show you because I have my like paper here. So... This is my uh, chart for round 61 of rolling 72s. And I have in the first column, hours one through 24. And in the second column, I have the actual times. Um, and so I started my last fast at 12.17 p.m. And so my first hour was completed at 1.17 p.m. And here we go. I crossed it off as it went by. And so I'm almost finished with day number one. And so seeing those kind of like X's grow and get bigger, you know, with the crossing off of each hour just really inspires me to kind of like continue on with my fast. And then as you can see at the bottom of the page, um, I write like goals for myself for um, each round of fasting. And so my goal for, you know, this round um, of fasting is to actually leave the 130s. And I think I probably have a good chance of doing that. But anyways, so... Once I cross off an hour after, you know, I've completed it, I kind of like give myself a pat on the back and congratulate myself for, you know, like a job well done. And I know that's silly, but it kind of like, you know, inspires me. Um, it makes me feel like a sense of accomplishment and um, it kind of like helps me to keep going. And so I don't think I need to do this like these days um, with my fasting but I still, you know, choose to do it because it's what's worked for me since the beginning. And so I wanted to share that with you that when you are fasting, just kind of like take it hour by hour and, you know, don't worry about that big number. Don't worry about the 72 hours or the 48 hours or however long you have um, predetermined to be your set fasting time. Just focus on one hour at a time and, um, you know, fill your hour doing things that will like distract you, that will keep your mind off food. And so... The time kind of like goes by quickly for me on weekdays when I'm at work and I just kind of like throw myself into work. And um, when I'm at home on the weekends and on holidays, I kind of like have, you know, a list of things that I can um, do um, when I'm fasting. And so if I ever find that I get bored, I pull that list out and, you know, look through it. And there's always something on the list that I can do to kind of like keep my mind occupied for, you know, like the next hour. And so I wanted to share that with you today because um, before when I would try to fast, I'd focus on the big number and uh, that was always kind of like off-putting. And so it's a little bit easier to manage when you focus on one little hour at a time. And even if an hour is like too much for you, you can focus on, you know, 30 minute increments, whatever works for you. And so um, anyways, I wanted to share that with you today. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Thursday and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.